all right guys welcome here again okay so we are already done on our character movement and now we are going to make it stop when it reaches its destination okay so there are so many ways to do this but as a beginner we are going to do the obviously the obvious way and the easiest way okay so going back to our code we are going to add some things in here like the execute code action and the action manager okay so what this one does, does is like if we hit something then we are going to execute a code so it's easy if we if we start with it okay so we have a function move here and we have our character box here Let's just name this character creation. And below it, we are going to say a target box creation. So just like how we make our character, we are also going to create another box in here. And this time, we are going to name it the target box. And the size would be around 0.2. So we wanted to make it small. So a character box should be not pickable so we are going to say is pickable false so we cannot click our box because our the idea here if we click something in our scene the target box will be positioned in there okay, so let's rename this as a target box so our target box if we click on something if it's the brown position then we are going to say the target box that position will be on the pick info that pick point. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, so now you can see a small box where it is positioned where we click in our ground position. So, the next thing that we're going to do is that if this character box and this box collided to each other, then we are going to stop. Okay, so now we are going to make a collision for that. So, going back to our target box, we are going to say an action manager equals to new action manager and it needs the scene so once you all have already made a new action manager for this you can create many action for this box so let's say an action manager we are going to register our action manager so register action sorry the action okay so what kind of action that we want to uh, put in our target box so we are going to say execute code action and now for this we are going to say how it will execute code action by using a trigger so our trigger for this so that it if it triggers then it will execute execute code action 
So our trigger would be, you guess what? And that would be our collisions. So in here, let's just say an action manager on intersection enter trigger. So if we intersect and our parameter would be obviously the character box. So if we intersect with the character box, then the callback will run, which is the F. It just it means that it will execute this code. That's why we have an execute code action in here. So let's try that. So let's first say console log will stop. So as you can see, it stops. Okay, so now we are going to create the function for our stop. So function stop. We don't need anything in here. So the first thing that we have we need to do if we stop is we are going to set the character box at position at y plus to 100. So it won't collide. So after colliding with our box with our character box, it will be positioned higher. So it won't collide in our character box anymore. And we are going to say is moving is equals to false. And let's just copy this one. And we are going to say stop. Okay, so in here we are going to say stop. For our character box, which is the credit box, we don't need to set the visibility. We need to set the visibility to zero or make it is visible. Yeah, yeah, make it visibility to zero. So, if we collide with the target box. then we will stop and our character will stop stop moving and you can make it more smaller but I think 0.2 is enough for that okay so you can set your target box that is visible So you cannot see a card the target box anymore. Okay, so we have successfully uh, made our character move and stop. So that's it for now. In our next section, we are going to create our trees for our scene. So the scene will be the scene will not look so boring so we need to place a crease in here and make our character cut crease and so on okay so that's it for now so i'm gonna see you on to our next section